What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda. Let's begin today's lesson by sketching a guideline coming down the center of our page. We'll start from the very top. Just gonna lightly draw this line, coming all the way down towards the bottom. Now I want to draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side, going out, and extend that out towards the right. Now from this point, we're going to draw an oval coming down towards the bottom and back up towards the top. Just going around the mouth and chin, and bring that back up towards the top. Now let's find the center point between the top and the bottom of the oval. Curve this out and up towards the left and right side. Let's add a circle going up towards the top of the nose and then back down. Now from here we go out to the side of our oval, sketch a line going up to the side on the left and right. Now from that center line, let's step up, start on the left and we draw a circle. Going up, come all the way around, and then back in. And we'll draw the same size circle on the right. Just lining this up, going up towards the same height on the top and bottom. Now we want to draw a line going straight across the center, starting on the left, go all the way across towards the right. Let's round up the top of the eyelid, starting back on the left, and we're going to go up and down on the inside, do the same thing on the right. Let's go back to the left side, we're just going to curve this down towards that center line, and then back up. Now I want to tuck the iris and pupil underneath the eyelid, just pulling that in towards the inside. So from the top left, come all the way around, and then up on the inside, and we'll line that up on the right. Now we're going to fold the brow on top of the eyes, starting from the center, go across toward the left, on top of the eye, going up and around, and just pull that down towards that center line. Let's go across the right. Now I'm just going to raise this up a little bit higher around and then bring that down towards that center line. Now we want to curve the bottom of the trim coming down towards the bottom and just pull that up on the inside just underneath the brow. Now in the center we leave a gap and draw two lines one going up on the left and one on the right. Now on the left side, we're going to step up, just going to follow that curve of the brow, going all the way around towards the top, and then bring that down towards the side of the head. We'll line it up on the right, going up, and then down. Let's round out the bottom of the cheeks, and just pull that in towards the inside of the muzzle. And then in the center, we draw in the beard. Curve this down and in towards the middle, towards the point. Curve around and back in. Now let's go back to the side of the head. Curve this up, round out the top and the middle. Go across and then back down on the right side. Now in the center of the forehead, we draw a circle. Going around and then back in. Now from here, we want to loosely block in the ears. From the center, let's step over towards the right, curve the ear going up and then out towards the top. Let's round out the ear, come down and back in towards the side of the head. Let's angle the left ear coming down. Just going to line this up, going up and across. Round this out, come down and in towards the side of the head. Let's add a fold along the top of the ear. Step in. Curve this up and then out. Now just underneath the cheeks, let's curve the body, going out and then down. Underneath the cheek on the right, let's curve this down and over toward the left. 
and then on the left side, add a seam that's coming in and down. Let's go to the side of the nose and add the whiskers, going out and then down towards the bottom. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now with our clean rough sketch in place, let's go in with the tip of our pencil and start adding some details. We're going to start with the tip of the nose and trace this around. And then we'll draw a small circle in the center. And we'll lightly shade in the nose. Now I'm going to add a darker shadow across the bottom and then fade that up towards that center circle. Just going to work our way around the side of the mouth. And now I'm going to move up and start detailing out the brow starting along the bottom edge and working our way out. I'm also adding a little bit of fur texture along the bottom. And just extending that down towards the side. And we'll go back and start adding some detail and shape to the eyelids. I'm just going to add a small highlight circle on the left side of the eyes. And then draw a circle in behind, in the center of the eye, for the pupil. And we'll darken up the center of the pupil, going around that highlight. I'm just going to use the side edge of our pencil and just darken up the eyelid on the top and the bottom. And now we're going to add a light shade around the eyes, just working with the curve of the eyes coming down from the center and then going around just down towards that guideline that we created. Just pull this up along the side of the head. Now going back to the tip of our pencil, we're just gonna add a fur texture along the side of the muzzle. So enhancing the fur in between the eyes. Also layering some fur along the inside of that patch. Let's bring some of that shadow over on the right side and just fade that across the bottom. And then just soften up the fur around the side of the head. Just pulling these short lines coming in with the side edge of our pencil.
And I'm going back to the tip of pencil to enhance that fur. I'm just going to add a very subtle shadow on the right side of the head. Just bring that in towards the middle, and then just blending that out.
Now as you get closer to the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Master Shifu from Kung Fu Panda. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.